Good evening. Yeah. Very nice to see you all. Thank you for coming. Obviously, a show like this is going to involve a certain amount of audience participation. So I thought I'd get rid of that whole awful embarrassment factor. Now, Jean-Christophe Novelli, you're sat a couple of rows back, a couple in from the aisle. Would you stand up for me, sir? You have to stand up. Oh, no. Stand up for me, Jean-Christophe, please. Stand up. <laughs> Jean-Christophe, thank you. Please listen carefully. If you look over to the left-hand side of the stage for me, you'll see a tall table, and on top of the table is a stuffed kitten. Can you see that, Jean-Christophe? Yes, I do, yes. Excellent. What I would like you to do for me is to go and get the kitten. Oh, no. Hang on. Please. No. <laughs> It's my night off. Listen, Kevin, <laughs> I'd like you to go and get the kitten off the table. I don't want to embarrass you in front of 200 people, of course. So I'd like you to try and get the kitten without anybody seeing you. <laughs> go on, off you go. Please, I don't know. It's my night off. Right, I think I can see you. Take the kitten back to your seat for me, Jean Christophe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. All right, listen carefully. In a moment, I want you to throw the kitten backwards over your shoulder into the audience. Not yet. This will then select a random volunteer. Of course, this means everybody behind Jean Christophe will now pretend they don't exist. <laughs> if the kitten comes at you, you just catch it. Jean Christophe, throw it backwards now into the audience. Go, over your head, throw it for me. <laughs> Whoever that's nearest, pick that up for me. Jean Christophe, you can now sit down. Thank you very much indeed. Whoever's got the kitten, will you please stand? Excellent. What's your name, madam? Jeannie. Jeannie, very good to meet you, Jeannie. Jeannie, first of all, we have never met before ever. I have prepared nothing with you, correct? I don't know who you are. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Uh, Jeannie, if I was to ask you to name any country in the world, all right, now don't name maybe France or England or even America, maybe they might seem a little bit obvious. And bearing in mind, you can change your mind as many times as you like. What would you say? Africa. Africa. Excellent. Well, that's kind of what I hoped. It tells me that you are clearly sharp enough to try and keep me on my toes, yet you're not going to try too hard to catch me out, and that you have massive emotional damage. Jeannie. <laughs> How right you are. <laughs> Jeannie, it would be a little bit ambitious of me at this point to try and control your choice of any country in the world, but I think I can control your choice of one of three shapes. If you look in the centre of the stage, you'll see a board with three shapes mounted on them. Can you see that? Yes. Excellent. In a moment, Jeannie, I will ask you to name one of those three shapes. I think I know in advance which one of those shapes you're going to choose. So I will give you three seconds of silence, and during that time, I want you to make up your mind and choose one of the shapes. Whatever you say, Jeannie, I will take as your absolute final decision and I will not let you change your mind. Is that clear? Okay. Yes. All right. And you'll notice, by the way, I haven't tried to attract your attention to one shape more than the others. So I'm sure you'll agree that everything is fair and square. Here are your three seconds. <laughs> your three seconds of silence starts now. One, two, three. I will not let you change your mind. Is that clear? Which shape would you like? Triangle. The triangle. Right, would you like to change your mind? <laughs> A free choice. Yes? Yes. All right, here's what I want you to do. Leave the kitten with the person next to you. I'd like you to walk down onto the stage and stand next to the microphone. That's just next to the board with the shapes on it. Give Jeannie a big hand as she heads up on stage. Thank you. <laughs> the mic is just to the right of the shapes. If you can just stand so you're facing the audience, lovely. Now, Jeannie, just behind that board with the shapes on, there's a card table. Will you just pick the brick up off the card table, please? Thank you very much. Pick it up, and then with your other hand, I need you to pick up the black envelope that's just there. Pick up the black envelope that's just on the card table. Thank you, uh, and then put the brick back. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, take the envelope that was under the brick, take it to the microphone. I'd like you to undo it for me and take out what's inside. A folded sheet of paper, good. If you can undo the folded sheet of paper for me. And Jeannie, I would like you please, in your nicest, clearest voice, to read out what it says right from the top of the page. Nice and clearly, please. Off you go. Okay, Darren. But before I start, 
May I just say how much I've enjoyed the recent series? Oh, Jeannie, that is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. That's lovely. You can read a little quicker if you like. If my abilities are well honed tonight, you will be a tall, well-dressed and sexually attractive lady. I do apologise. Upon being asked to choose a shape, there is only one shape you can choose. That shape will, of course, be the triangle. What will really bug you is how I also knew that you would choose the country, Africa. Africa it was, Jeannie, back to your seat. Keep it going for Jeannie. Head back to your seat, Jeannie.